What direction do they give you just before you're about to eat somebody? She wants us to. Like, how do you prep on set to act like you're actually eating a person? I specifically remember Ben, our director, we'd be in the middle of a take and we'd be like going at it like animalistic. And all you'd hear is, go for the shoulder, go for the shoulder. Okay, someone get in there, grab the face, take a bite out of their face. And that's, that's the direction we're getting during that like intense scene. Are they ever yelling, like, it's not believable enough? <laughs> Make not me quite. believe you're no. eating the shoulder. No, it's more like, it's more like, it's more like, okay, it's got to be more animalistic. Now, now we want animalistic. Do you have to take grunt? a big bite. Oh yeah, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's nuts. When you're filming something, there is multiple takes on every scene, right? And when you're eating, you know, these body parts and stuff, and you have to shoot something again, you can't use the body part that already has a bite in it. So I'm assuming there's like a stockpile of <laughs> legs and arms and heads off to the side, and they bring out a new one each time. Yeah, so depending on which scene. So with the Jackie scene, it was kind of crazy because they realized we were going to be doing this for two days. It wasn't one day because you have the two different scenes that we're doing. And so what they did was they created the body, but they took chunks out of the body out, <laughs> out of this fake body. And so all they were doing, instead of having to replace the entire body, they would just take pieces. So you'd have like half a leg coming in or like part of the chest coming in or like the shoulder, a new shoulder. So it was like, we, yeah, we had like little pieces of this body just being shipped in after every single take. Okay, so on Yellow Jackets, I need to know what the fake bodies taste like. So uh. I'm a snack guy, so I brought a bunch of snacks here for us today to try. So I'm hoping that you can relate to me what the bodies taste like in okay. snack form. I'm ready. Okay, so what do we go with first? You're gonna honestly, tell me. Honestly, let's go with the real cheddar cheesies first. Let's just the cheesies. Yeah, let's give it. Let's give it a go. You know, I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay. You know, it's got like it looks like almost like a finger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is this close to the fake body cheesies? Mm, it's too um crunchy. What's um, next? I say we go. Let's go here. Let's go with the um. So we have baby bell cheese. Yeah, baby bell cheese here. Let's see. It's like almost a little too soft. Okay, um, we have three things okay. left. We have I Twizzlers, think, Kit Kat, I and think we, wine gum. Okay, let's go wine gum. Oh, let's look at so what's left is Twizzlers and wine gums. Yeah, Twizzlers and wine gummies. This is down to these two, I think. Okay. All right, okay, we're wine gums first. Let's try. Mm. Oh, yeah. interesting. There's some pull here. Yeah, there's some pull. So when you're eating a body, there's pull? Yeah, there's a little bit of, well, it's got the jackfruit, you know? Like it's got a little, okay. little sum sum to it. This is pretty darn close. Do we even bother trying the Twizzlers, or do you think the wine gums are the winner? Is the closest snack food to a fake body? I think I think the wine gums are going to be the closest by far because it's that it's this you know you get a little pull on it. Yeah, you can so like, stretch it out. You can make it the meat and yeah, all the veins everything. and stuff. Okay, especially with the skin too. This okay, so it. ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know what the bodies taste like on Yellow Jackets, get yourself a package of wine gums. Oh, wine gummies.